it's the Pacific Northwest Geek here, Echo Zero. And besides, uh, in the bad need of a shave, I'm here with my second uh, Wild Eye review for Wild Eye Week. I will be looking at the 2014 movie uh, Virtual Dead, also known as Dead Gamers. And well, you know, I think I've talked about in some of my other videos and my other YouTube channel and my Twitch channel. I'm a gamer. I happen to like games. So this one happened to catch my attention. Um, it's an Italian main movie, subtitled, um, which I just got done watching, and um, it is an interesting film with potential, but it just um, is being held back due to um, lack of certain elements. Now, this movie basically tells of this guy, um, Robert. I'm not going to try to pronounce his real name, I mean the actor's name, because it's Italian. I'll butcher it. But he's some kind of like uh, computer programmer, inventor, genius type guy. And he's invented this thing, I think they call it the VZ1, which is this pill that uses a micro, microscopic uh, machine in it called a micro octopus. Or they also put it in the movie has the microchip octopus. And that basically the idea is you can swallow this thing and it will go into your system and can transfer you into a virtual reality world. And in order to test this out, he invites um, some of his friends, although one of them is not really his friends, it's some guy he does not like and does not like him either, due to the fact that this guy's basically boning the woman that Robert likes. Anyways, um... They go and he invites them to his place, they have dinner, and then they're drinking wine, and, you know, friendly conversation, aside from the guy that Robert doesn't like. And, um, he starts to tell him about his invention, and he's being told by the guy who doesn't like him, it's all bullshit, blah, blah, blah. He then reveals to them, oh yeah, by the way, I slipped it into your food and stuff, it's inside of you, leading to one of the girls going freaking out. Like, oh, there's an octopus in my belly. Get it out. He then activates these things and puts them into this, like, virtual reality world. Well, shortly thereafter, a virus um, basically corrupts the file. And um, the runtime files and stuff. And now they have to find that exit. He has to try to, to repair the, the computer program and to get them out. Um... Now, uh, makeup-wise, some of it's just, like, caked on. This is, like, this like regular, like, Halloween-type makeup. It's a little bit of, like, you know, like, peeling skin, makeup on some people. Uh, they do use CGI. Like, you see a monster early on. It's, this is guys, like, they just give him this weird CGI face. Uh, there's a woman. The guy comes, um, I can't remember the guy's name. He, one character comes across this good-looking woman, and she, her face changes. She looks like, um... There are these filters you can get on the phone and iPad that allows you to make someone's face look scary. There are is some scenes in this movie where they look like they're using those filters. 2014's version of those filters. Um, and, you know, CGI-wise, it's... 2014, probably an, indep an independent film. I don't know. I don't really follow... Um, Italian cinema really that much anymore. I mean, I, I did get a little bit into um, Felici and uh, Argento. Um, excuse me. Uh, I think Baba a little bit and um, uh, Umberto Labada, whatever his name is. But I really haven't followed in a while. So the, the CGI you get in here is not like top tier CGI. Not even for 2014. So it's better effects than what we saw in Jurassic Prey. What is holding this back is um, it needed to crank up the gore factor. There's there's some blood, but it's you know, a little bit of blood here. There's some CGI blood, which I know in the Jurassic Prey one I bitched about CGI blood, but... They're in a virtual reality world that 
So like it's okay, you know, to throw that in there, but it's not really as bad as it was in Jurassic Prey. Um, but it would been, you know, like, that would have been nice if they had added uh, some gore to this. Maybe because, again, watching someone like Argento or uh, Fulucci, that I like the gore stuff they did there, that I would have liked to have seen that here. Um, but apparently, because when I was doing a little read-up on this, this is a TV movie, so maybe that's something they can't really do. Um, the whole, you know, blood and guts thing. Um... Those are three B's, by the way. Blood, beast, and breast. And it had the beast. It didn't really have the blood. It did not have the breast. It did not have this uh, sexual factor, which would have helped it a, a, a little bit more, too. There's a woman who, you know, she's in the drugs, and maybe she's a little... Give you a little one thing that maybe she's a little kind of, you know, sexually, you know, you know she's kind of... Horny gets a horny at times. Maybe they've done something with her. By the way, they put her in a Laura Craft looking outfit. Um, they could have, you know, it's something like they could have done with, you know, looking uh, with a little bit more sexualness, sexual, uh, you know, a fan service to it. And um, the I think the, if they had added the, like, the, like the gore is great. Um, this movie is on Tubi, but it's in Italian. English subtitles. So if you're, if you want to watch an interesting um, movie, with, with, it's got a cool concept. I like the whole idea of, you know, boom, you take this pill and you can be transferred to a virtual reality world. I thought that was cool. But it just, like, it falls short. They could have done more. Um, so go ahead and, and check it out on Tubi if you want to. I'll put the link in the uh, description for it. But take in mind, again, this is in subtitles, which if you're not into subtitles, you're not going to like this movie. Um, it's actually been a while since I've seen a movie with subtitles, so it kind of caught me off guard. There is a scene, a couple of scenes where some guys ch uh, chatting on um, some text thing, kind of chat program on the computer where it's in English, but otherwise, um, it's... It, it's in, in um, Italian. But anyways, um, so yes, I would suggest this movie. Just go ahead and check it out again, unless you don't like subtitles. Anyways, I got to go. I got to go edit this. And um, I got to go and uh, work on some other stuff. But anyways, I am Echo Zero. And um, see you on the flip side. <laughs>